Hello, it's an actual pleasure to, to be able to share with you this morning. My name's Glenn. I'm 48 years old and I'm currently living in Porthcawl, South Wales. Uh, I just want to take you back um, to the beginning of my life. Um, as a small child, I had a, I had, I had a good family growing up. But right from an early age, I become very troublesome and um, find it very hard to concentrate at school and uh, just, you know, just, just find it difficult to, to be a good child. Um, so from a very early age, I started um, experimenting with drugs, um, smoking, drinking, sniffing solvents. And by the time of, I was the age of 14, I was placed into care because uh, my mother at the time thought it was the best thing for me because she couldn't cope with me. Um, so, first of all, I went to foster parents and they couldn't control me. And it was just spiralling into just an uncontrollable young man. Um, so then I got expelled from school. So I still had to have an education, so I got sent to a, a boarding school in Devon. And um, by the time I was 16, my mother told me that the father that I thought was my father wasn't, which um, played a very devastating blow and a very detrimental course of uh, action. And, you know, and it was it was felt like my whole world was just falling in on me. You know, and I tried to commit suicide at a very early age of 16. Um, I was very successful at that. And, um, and as I continued with, with my life, I just become more and more troublesome, more and more um, dabbling in soft drugs and hanging around with the wrong crowd. Um, when I was 18, I was... Uh, received my first prison sentence and um, and from the age of 18 until 38 the majority of that was spent in prison I've done about 20 years in prison now um, for the path that I chose to take um, I started experimenting in harder drugs uh, crack cocaine heroin and it took me to the gutters it took me to a place where I was living in dirty filthy squalor and the squat that I was living in was literally the, the same toilet that I used to use so um, it come, it brought me to a point in my life such a broken person that I was, you know, that I couldn't even see the filth that was on my own body and the filth that was around me. I just didn't care. Now we got to a point where I walked into a church, a cathedral in Gloucester, and I cried out to God. So I always believed in God, but it was just stories at the time. But this is a time where I really need help. I had two choices in my life, whether I was going to do life imprisonment, which was just the norm for me, or I was going to die from injecting myself every single day with poison. So the Lord answered my prayer and he took me to a place called Bethel, which is a Christian community for people with homeless problems. People with, people with addiction problems and I went there and I met Jesus this is just as plain as simple as that as a such uh, a, a massive res revelation of, of what Jesus and, and what the cross means and that I was you know I was forgiven no matter what I did but there is a perfect plan for me and I began to grab that, that only hope that I ever had. I had nothing else, but I put my whole trust in that, in that one scripture. And by doing that, God has showed me his faithfulness 
in such a mighty, powerful way that it's absolutely mind-blowing and it's such a blessing to my life today to be able to speak to you and bear witness and testimony of a transformed life in knowing Jesus and following Jesus as a disciple. Now it's been 12 years ago that I, you know, that I was uh, been following and walking with the Lord um, seriously. And it was a further, I think maybe 14 years ago, the last time I seen the prison gates. So it's, an, it's just an amazing revelation in itself that chains have been broken. And I'm now living in Porthcourt, like I said. I'm the worship leader for uh, two churches. So what, one church um, split into two separate uh, communities. Uh, I work as a drainage engineer. And I'm about to get married to a beautiful girl called Louise. And my life has never been the same. I'm, all, I'm actually you know, walk in the life that God had always intended for me. And I've got nothing really, you know, to, to speak about it of, of me doing anything, only offering Christ Jesus into my life. And I thank you for um, listening to my message this morning. Praise the Lord. Thank you.